Hey guys, John Velasco here. So I'm in New York right now and I'm here at the Verizon offices and I'm just checking out their connected space here showcasing the power of Verizon Fios and what you could expect in the future as we continue to see a lot of connected products in the home. And basically what they're showing here is how there's no degradation in speed, latency. So even if you have a Google Home, you're streaming 4K um, over your network or even playing games, uh, it's not gonna sacrifice any of the speed. So behind this door is that this brand new space. So let's check it out. Okay, before I show you guys what I saw at this space, we all know that our homes are currently going through this type of revolution. Now at my place, I already see in the moment you get through the front door just because I have a ring doorbell there showing me who's there. And once I enter through the door, there's also a sensor that tells me when it's open or closed thanks to the Piper system. And speaking of Piper, I have two of them. The first being the original Piper, while the other one is the night vision equipped model. Now, there are so many connected devices already in our homes that we don't think about. From the security cameras, streaming boxes, video game consoles, and much more, there is an apparent revolution when it comes to home connection. So let's get back to the Verizon Fio space. They didn't hold back one bit when it came down to decking out the place. And I was kind of overwhelmed by the sheer magnitude of how many connected devices were there. And kudos to the interior designers they called in to help them because it featured a very clean and colorful atmosphere. While I won't go into every gadget that I found there, some of the standouts for me include the insane amount of smart lights there. Not only were Philips Hue light bulbs used, but they even leveraged the Philips Hue light strips to accent certain areas. Five out of the six ginormous wall-mounted television sets were streaming 4K content of some sort, which is pretty taxing for any home network when you think about it. And we even checked out a few smart appliances. Seriously, I'd love to have a space decked out like this, but the point of Verizon crafting this space in the first place is to direct their attention on the infrastructure. Essentially, the underlying thing here is the raw power of Verizon Fios' 750 megabits per second instant internet service. When you think about everything that's there, it's pretty impressive that the network speed wasn't impacted negatively. I was skeptical, of course, considering that one router was managing everything, so I tested it out using Ookla speed tests on a PC. And you know what? It overdelivered by achieving a download speed of 862 megabits per second, while the upload speed was at an even more impressive 903 megabits per second. But here at home, my dilemma is, of course, speed and latency. I have Comcast Xfinity, and that's the only provider I'm able to choose from. And with that, I just noticed the more devices I tack onto the network. So in addition to all the home connected stuff, my laptop, my PC, all the smartphones, all the tablets, it does take its toll. And eventually I end up seeing degradations in terms of speed and latency. Granted that my current Xfinity plan is cheaper at $85 per month versus $150 per month for the Verizon Fios' 750 megabits per second instant internet service, the difference alone is evident in how my speed has slowed down tremendously. Time, that's the main distinguisher between these two services. Yes, turning on a light at home using an in-app on our Android device while away doesn't seem like it's gonna take a whole lot, but other things such as uploading videos to YouTube, streaming a television show, or tapping into a security camera won't take as long with the Verizon connection. Speed and latency will only become more crucial as more connected devices are introduced at home. So if you're very particular about that, you'll probably want to do your research. On one hand, you can pay less for slower service, but for those looking for instant connection, instant service, and instant play, you'll want to take into consideration this Verizon Fios 750 megabits per second package. Now, if only I could get my space at home to look like the one I saw at Verizon's offices, that'd be pretty sweet. So if you guys want to learn more about any of the stuff I talked about in this video, you can check out our website, androidauthority.com. This is John V signing off.